At this point our game works, so press Command R, give it a quick try and see what you think so far. I'm using the iPod Touch 7th generation simulator, hopefully it should launch up, there we go. Give it a try, see what you think. At this point I think it's fair to say the code works, doesn't look great. Uh, tap flag of Germany, okay, here we go, that's it there, correct, good. Russia, I'll say it's uh, Germany's flag. Nope. France. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll choose France. Go on. And there'll be one more US. Right, so you can see it all works correctly, right? Correct, wrong, correct, wrong, whatever. Doesn't look great, though. And we can add a few small tweaks to our design to make it look better. First, let's replace this sort of solid blue background we have here with a linear gradient from blue down to black, which ensures that even if a flag has a similar blue color, it should still stand out against the background. So we'll replace color.blue, ignore safe area, with this. A linear gradient with a gradient, gradient, colors, an array of dot blue and dot black, starting from the top, ending at the bottom. Still ignore safe area. There we go. Now let's adjust our fonts just a little bit. So the country name, this part here, that's the part we've got to actually guess, is the most prominent piece of text on the current screen. Whereas the tap the flag of is smaller and more bold. We can control the size and style of this text using the font modifier, which lets us select from one of the built-in fonts on iOS. As changing the weight of fonts, that means like, super thin or really bold or slightly bold or who knows what, we can get fine grained control over that by asking or by adding a weight modifier to whatever font we want to ask for. And so this tap the flag off thing, I'm gonna say should use a font of dot subheadline dot weight dot heavy. So a pretty thick font that one. And that's the result. Then for the correct answer, text area, I'll say we want to use dot font dot large title dot weight dot semi bold. So a little bit bold, but not fully bold. Now large title is the largest built in iOS font size offered to us. And it automatically scales up and down depending on what setting the user has for their text, as does sub headline. Uh, this is called dynamic type. It's really, really helpful because Rana saying exactly 64 font, fonts, we're saying, um, 64 point fonts, sorry, we're saying really big or quite big or small or whatever, and the user can scale it up or down based on their display settings. Anyway, uh, let's now look at our flag pitch a little bit. Uh, there are a few modifiers we can use here, and we're gonna use two. We're gonna use, change the shape of the flags and add a shadow. Uh, there are built-in shapes in Swift, you've seen Rectangle already, there's rounded rectangle, there's capsule, there's circle. Uh, we're gonna use capsule here and it ensures the corners of the shortest edge get fully rounded, while this longest edge remains straight. It looks really good for buttons. And so we're gonna go ahead and say down here for our image, you are clipped to be a capsule shape by saying dot clip shape a capsule like that. And you're still being well, but uh, capsules. Now we're gonna add a shadow effect just to make them stand out more from the background. This is done by using, by using uh, shadow or dot shadow. And you can specify a color, a radius, X and Y, da, da, da. If you specify no color, you get a slightly translucent black. If you specify no radius, sorry, no X and Y, sorry, you just get one centered around your current object. So we can actually say shadow radius is five and get back a very light shadow around our uh, flags. SwiftUI has many modifiers that help us change the way fonts look and images look and so forth, and they all do exactly one thing at a time, so it's very common to stack them up one by one. Rendering mode original, clip shape capsule, shadow radius five, and so forth. 